Hey, Odyssey viewers, this is John Gill. I'm here with Tiffany. And we're at Comic Con 2010 New York City Jacob Javits Center. Today, we have the great Comic Con on the East Coast. This is the sister of the Comic Con on the West Coast. We're going to go inside the center. We're going to check out all the new games, all the new shows, uh, talk to some people, talk to some villains, some heroes. So come on in with us. This is On the Scene TV, as always, bringing the community to you. Alright, so um, why, what is your costume today? My costume is Blade from the 2006 Spike TV uh, defunct television series, Blade the Series. Um, what made you want to dress up as that for Comic-Con today? Well, although I'm not as handsome as Mr. Sticky Fingers Jones, I look a little bit like him. And once I saw him as Blade, I, I decided to put together a costume. Well, it sounds good. So you made this all by yourself? You put everything together? Or did you buy it? Well, I bought some parts of it. I also uh, enlisted the help of a metal cutter as well as an industrial upholsterer. Okay. Are you enjoying yourself here? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. This is... Um, my second time, the first time I came to New York Comic Con was in 2008 as Blade, and here I am this year as well. Hey, on the scene viewers, we're here with uh, Jerry Robinson, legendary artist of all these great comic books. Uh, how are you doing today? Pretty good, thanks. So, Thank um, Comic Con New York, right. this, is this, um, I'm sure it's not your first time here. No, I've been a guest here before. <laughs> So what can the fans expect from you coming up in the future? Any new projects? Well, um, Abrams Publisher just published my biography, my complete history of 88 years. Oh, awesome, awesome. That's a young 88. <laughs> yes. Starting when I created the Batman, created the Joker for Batman, my political career, my paintings, other features. And, uh, so my, can we give the fans a little bit of background on um, the Joker and Batman and, and how, how much work can you put into that to, to come up with the whole concept? Well, I started at 17 on Batman when I was still a student at Columbia University. I just thought of drawing Batman as a way to get through college, but here I am 80 years later still talking about Batman. <laughs> That's awesome. So you never know what happens in life. And I've gone on to a to other features throughout the years. And I spent 32 years as a critical cartoonist. Now this Batman has, not to cut you off, I'm sorry, Jerry. Batman right. has a lot of villains. Um, was Joker like his most? Well, he was the first Superman, super villain in the comics altogether. Right. And uh, that then it became de rigueur for all the other superheroes to have a, a, villain. a villain. So that was the model. So the Joker, everyone, pretty much everyone based their villains on the Joker, you know, not on him, but he came out and then it was like, well, you know what, we need more villains. Exactly, exactly. The same thing happened when we introduced Robin, the boy wonder. Sidekick. You're right. I named Robin and designed his costume, and as soon as we added Robin to Batman, every, every other superhero got a side chest. Awesome, awesome. So that, that's great. That, that's uh, that goes back and that tells a lot for, for your work and your accomplishments and, and pretty much you paved the way for all these other uh, heroes and villains and sidekicks. Well, it was an exciting time. It was a new industry. Comics didn't exist before. Uh, Superman started in, in uh, 38. We started Batman the next year. And there was no comic book before that. So we had no past. It was just the present. We didn't know what would happen in the future. What do you think about now, because when you started, it was actual artists actually making the drawings. Yeah. Now with graphic art and all that yeah. stuff, what do you think of that whole change? Well, I do everything the old fashioned way. I still draw with a pen and ink and brush. But uh, I guess the new technology has always come in. And for starting out today, I perhaps have a different style. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Robinson, for the interview. Continue in good health. And um, on the scene viewers, there you have it at Comic-Con.